Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by for this intuitive interpretive reading for the lunar cycle from the new moon on October the 6th till the full moon on October 20th, 2021. This is presented for entertainment purposes only. Any resulting enlightenment is purely coincidental and unintentional. So the elements that have presented themselves for this moon cycle are, well look, the moon card from the Wisdom of the Kailat deck, the Ten of Arrows or Instruction from the Wildwood Tarot, and our Celtic trio on this time is Blackthorn. Now Blackthorn suggests that this next couple of weeks could be a difficult period. Blackthorn is about blockages and struggles, the need to look at difficult situations, and a reminder that our perspective is most important. Blackthorn wants us to look for the good within the negative. There may be situations that you have no control over and that you just have to give up the fight and go along with. But if you maintain an outlook that something good can come out of what you're going through, that there will be something positive to be gained, then it's helpful to get through a difficult period. And how do we do that? How do we find the answer or the positive outcome? The Ten of Arrows tells us to look to our elders. Do you see the picture is of a uh, an older man, presumably a grandfather, teaching the young boy how to shoot the bow and arrows. The background of this card also reminds us that there is much value in passing down information, wisdom, skills, abilities from one generation to the next. This is a card of what I would say external wisdom, external learning. It is a card more related to intellect than to intuition. But here comes the moon card. Now this is the one related to intuition. During this period you might have strong intuitive hits. You might have dreams that present a possible answer. But I also see a theme that has shown up recently in other readings I've done, and that is the need to balance intuition with intellect. If we are too much relying on our intuition or what dreams we have, we don't have a good grounding in reality. And on the other hand, if we are too, too much in our mental state, relying on pure logic all the time, we may miss the insights, the intuitive insights that allow us to create and to innovate. So whatever we're facing during this next cycle, and here I will say I have a very, very, very minuscule knowledge of astrology, but I understand that during the month of October there are 
several planets retrograde and several planets going direct. The retrograde phase can bring up old issues, perhaps problems we've confronted before that are now arising again. And here is where information from the past, from our elders, from the people who have been through the difficulty or a similar difficulty to our current times, how have they gotten through it? How did they face the issue and resolve it? How did they find a positive outcome? So we listen to the experts. and then consult our intuition. Does this seem like the right thing to do? Is this right for this period? And another aspect of this card is that it points out cycles. It reminds us that our, our entire lives follow a cycle. And we need to honor that. It's like sleeping and waking. Sometimes we need to rest and sometimes we need to be active. Sometimes we are young and then we are old. Then we are reborn into youth. So honor the part of the cycle you are on, even if that means you're cycling through a difficult time, a blackthorn time. Whatever we are facing, we do need to use both our inner knowing. Remember, this is exterior. This is information that comes from outside of us. Is instruction is passed down. This is information that comes from within. But we need them both in balance to be able to really to live in harmony with the world and getting through any difficulty that might arise. So it looks like this next period will be trying in some ways, but it won't last forever. And we should focus on what we are learning or what positive thing we can take from the experience. Now I will say this is separate from the complete denial of bad times. We probably all know somebody who will say, oh we'll just keep smiling, everything happens for a purpose, and really that denial of the negative experiences we are going through is not healthy. So acknowledge that things are tough, but what benefit will come? Because it will come. So hang in there, my dears, for this next possibly very trying time. May all your dreams give you a spark of inspiration, a spark of creativity that then your intellect can help you fulfill, can help you carry out. We need both a grounded information, knowledge, instruction, and the wonderful surprise that our intuition can give. So this is where I will leave for this particular moon cycle, and I wish you well. I will see you again at the full moon. Thank you.
Bye-bye.